This episode of Fleet Equipments on the Road is brought to you by Omnitrax. Visit Omnitrax.com for more information and enjoy the show. This isn't the surface of the moon, but that doesn't make it any less wondrous. It's the surface of Daimler Truck's new High Desert Proving Ground that is highly engineered to simulate a truck's full service life in approximately six months. In fact, one test track mile is equal to 200 real world miles in terms of durability testing. And the test track doesn't fool around. I hopped inside a Freightliner New Cascadia prototype and hit the three and a half mile track, or more accurately, the track hit me. So come along as I stress test the future of Freightliner on this episode of On the Road. I'm Jason Morgan. And this is Alex Chrissy. We travel the globe to get our hands on the latest truck equipment and talk to the industry's best and brightest. This is Fleet Equipment's On the Road. Just a three hour drive from Daimler's Portland headquarters, the new High Desert Proving Ground spans 87 acres, sports a 32,000 square foot office facility, and 14 service bays. I sat down with Daimler Trucks recently appointed President and CEO Roger Nielsen, who underscored the importance of testing and the need for the new facility. Before this facility, what would you say were the biggest stumbling blocks in testing your technology? I'd say the biggest stumbling block we had in testing was the distance between our engineers and the test track. Our test track was in South Bend, Indiana. You know, if something broke, it might be two or three weeks before you can arrange to get over there. Someone would send you a video. You wouldn't get that full you know, experience that you get in real life. Here, if something breaks, some issue comes up, the engineer's here in three hours. Yeah. And not only does he get to see it, he can get it fixed here, he can spend the night, doesn't feel like he's he's um, on travel status forever. A lot of tr- things now we change on vehicles are software related. It's hard to do that with a guy in South Bend, Indiana, says we'll change this one parameter, then call me up tomorrow and see what you think. I'm really looking forward though to getting more of our engineers competent and being test drivers as well as engineers. Instead of having you know, 12 test drivers, now I have 800. Right. I know you've mentioned the, the quality and the speed at which you can develop products. How do you expect to see that going forward? The idea here is that the more you can do in testing, the less you have to do after testing. Right. Our whole idea here is to get a truck in a customer's hands that runs 1.2 million miles and he buys another one. Like we have customers that would love a 10-year truck. You know, what, do you, yeah. what, is it, what does a 10-year truck look like? What does it right. act like? We were talking about autonomous driving. Everything we put on trucks now that would lead to autonomous driving actually help us today increase the safety. Roger's excitement for the facility was contagious. You couldn't pry the smiles off the faces of the Daimler crews. They showed me around the facility and sat shotgun on my test room. Gittery track one. (laughs) That's pretty serious. I'm an engineer, so this is like having a racetrack. You know, I mean, we're talking about how uh, when you're a kid you had slot cars and race cars and like <laughs> right. this is this is the kid's dream yeah. and now an adult's dream you always got in trouble right. for breaking things here we want you to go break things right. it's it's exciting to see innovations we're working on here will be on the road two three four decades from now as well right for more episodes of on the road head over to feontheroad.com <laughs>